Hello everyone, back again with another video after 16 years. How are your kids doing? I know they were not yet born when I last made my last video. Just kidding. I know I do not upload on a regular basis like I should and I am so sorry. It is just so hard to find some content sometimes because you know it do be like that. Um, today though, we got a special unboxing as you can see. If you know, you know about this box. What kind of shoes are in this box or possibly what kind of shoes. These are some Nike Fear of Gods. Um, I was pretty excited to get these. Um, not quite the ones I wanted, but there is the black colorway of the ones I'm wanting coming out next Friday, so I'm hoping I can get those and it'll make, you know, the cosmic balance will be settled. Um, as far as videos come, I should have another one come out next week with this one. Um, fingers crossed, everything goes well with shipping and everything. So at least I'll have two videos next week. I promise I didn't get anything from Supreme because it was kind of <clears throat> this week. Um, but it is another pair of shoes I think you guys will like. I really like them and I cannot wait to wear them. Because it is summer, almost, kind of. It should be, technically. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's just go right into this video. Um, like I said, some Nike Fear Gods. Um, really excited to get these. I've, I've known, We've known about these for a while. They kind of have, like, a little leak of a different color, actually. They haven't come out yet. Um, and I was kind of excited to see. I was kind of excited for those. I was like, oh, these are, these are interesting. These, these look different. You know, they're not, like, other shoes. Um... And I don't wear shoes like these very often, so it's definitely something I can, you know, enjoy because it's something new I can get into and kind of try to rock a new style. Because these are kind of hard to style a little bit, as you'll see with the on-feet look with these. Um, but they are nice shoes. I do like them so far. Um, I did wear them yesterday, so that is why these soles are dirty, as you will see. But these are the Nike Fear of God Moccasins. I guess I to look at all that in its glory. Like I said, there's the dirty soul. Um, but yeah, these are nice. These are these are nice shoes. Um, like I said, they're definitely unique. The way they look is like nothing I've ever seen before. Um, so you're definitely gonna have that kind of like wow effect. Like what are those? What are those? Um, so I do like that about these. Um, I like the, the material it's made out of. It's like ripstop. Very nice and very breathable. It's like stretchy, you know, but it keeps your foot in place. It's not like, like your foot's like everywhere. Um, I like the design of the outside. I really do like the design. I like the air unit. How it's like the blue hit on like the white sole and you have the gray. It's a really, it's a really good looking shoe. It, it really is. Um, the lighting does not do it justice. It is definitely a lot more like a light bone than yellowish gray. But, um... Yeah, I like the way it looks. Um, it's got a Velcro strap that comes off. Um, it just kind of reveals that there's no laces. This is a laceless shoe, so if you're into that kind of thing, it's all for you. Um, and basically, the way you tighten and put the shoe on is there's a little thing on the side. Right there that you unbutton. And it lets you slip your foot in there. And then it's like a magnetic lock, so it just automatically locks. And then this little pull tab on the back with the lot lace lock, you just pull these and it makes it tighter around your ankle. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, does it actually work? Mm, a, a little bit. It's, it's definitely, um, it's not as tight as other shoes. I'm going to tell you that much. Um, when I wore these yesterday, I was definitely slipping in and out of them a, a little bit. Like, my foot wasn't coming all the way out, but, like, I could feel my heel riding up the back. Um, but, I mean, I didn't have any rubbing issues because I had on long enough socks. But, yeah, it's just this part right here. The, the, the fact that there's no way to tighten. Like, here, I'll take out the, um, the thing. As you can see, it's just, it's, you know, that's a pretty big ankle hole. Like... So you have to fill that with, you know, your foot, and then usually your foot's not, your ankle's not going to be that wide. So, like, you think pulling this would help it, but it doesn't do a whole bunch other than a little bit of tightness. Um, so that's, like, the one, the one gripe I have is it's just, it's not as tight as I would like. I don't know if going a half size down would help with that, because this is a ten and a half, which is what I think I wear, you know, naturally. And, like I said, my foot was just slipping out just a little tiny bit up the back. Like, kind of, like, right there. Um, but it wasn't bad. I wasn't like, ew, like, what is this? Like, this is uncomfortable kind of slipping. But 
you know, you notice it for sure. You notice it. Um, so if you don't like that, like I said, I would maybe, if you, I, I, if you could try these on somehow, I would recommend it to see if you are true to size with these. If not, maybe go true to size. Maybe your foot's different than mine, but I almost would tr recommend going half a size down just because I feel like it might help a little bit with it being tighter, you know, because, you know, obviously if it's smaller, it's going to be tighter on your foot to begin with, which will help with the slipping since it is, you know, like I said, there's not really anything holding your foot in place. Um, the other thing I had a gripe with was like when I was, because I had to tighten it so much to try to get it to stay on my foot, these bad boys hit the ground. Like every time I took a step, you just hear if you can hear that or not you can just hear like a t t every time you step down and it was kind of annoying to hear that like when i was walking in public i was like and i'm sure you can uh, you know you could probably like wrap these up somehow to keep them off the yeah like that or something you know throwing a little loop on the back of the shoe to get it to um you know to keep it off your uh off the ground um but that's just a little annoying you know when you first do it you, if you don't think about that it's just tapping every time you step down um but i think overall i do like this shoe quite a bit it's like i said it's an interesting design i like what they're going with or going for with the shoe um it's not for everybody obviously like i said there's no laces it's a moccasin type shoe so it's kind of like slip on and you know there's no performance you don't play basketball these you just kind of life lifestyle these but that's what I was looking for in a Fear God shoe with a lifestyle one that wasn't like 600 bucks like the suede ones on feargod.com. Um, so yeah, um, I like these. I would recommend them if you're looking for a subtle flex because, you know, like, you, it, you know, you, if you look at this, you, if you know, you know it's Fear of God. But if not, people are like, oh, those are interesting. What are those? Because they kind of look like almost like moon shoes a little bit just because of the way they look, how like undetailed they are. But I like that it's that simplicity. Um, it's what kind of sells me on it. Um, got these off feargod.com. They were $1.90 after shipping. Shipping is awful on there. If you can get them anywhere else for retail, I would try because shipping was like $25, bucks, which was cray cray. Um, I think Essence might still have some sizes maybe on there if you're looking, if you're interested in these. Um, but yeah, I like these. I like the raids. I like the way the raids look a little bit better than these. And like I said, the raids are coming out in a black colorway next Friday. So I'm going to try to get those so I can have the light bone moccasins and the black fear of God or the, the black raids. Um, but yeah, that's it for today's video. Um, if you enjoyed this, make sure to go drop a like on it. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to stay up to date on everything I do upload. Like I said, there should be another pair of shoes that I'm going to have unboxing next week. I think you guys will enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy it for sure because they're a shoe I've wanted for quite a while. Um, and comment. Do you like these or do you like the raids better? What do you think about Fear of God in general? Go and let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to read your guys' comments. Um, and that's all I got for the, today. Like I said, thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, peace out.